Hey guys, welcome to Silverstone's POV. In this video, I would like to show you how I remove and replace the engine oil cooler and filter housing assembly with two set of O-ring gasket for upper and lower intake. On a 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan 3.6 liter V6. So first step, remove the negative battery and drain the coolant. So remove the engine cover, remove the air filter housing and remove the vent holes from the air filter housing to the intake manifold. Remove the clip that hold the upper rat holes to the upper manifold and remove the clamp and put the rat hole just to the side. Remove the air intake temperature, remove the throttle body motor connector, map sensor connector, EVAP vacuum holes, PCV holes, and pry some of the clip out to remove the wiring harness for the sensor just put it to the side and now remove the brake booster vacuum holes and remove the long clip that hold the air pipe just, just in the front of the throttle body and uh, the throttle body doesn't have the gear clamp in the front there to connect that pipe into it so it just a uh, plug in and a two clip hold on to the valve cover actually two, two clip so you just try to lift the clip off and and push it forward and uh, we can leave it right there so just out of the way and now to remove the upper intake need to take two nut 10 millimeter like in in the front of the engine and two in the back here and uh, lose all seven screw that hold the upper manifold to the lower manifold so we all lose it out so we don't have to take all the way out just lose it until it's free from the lower intake manifold and so totally seven screw and now remove this bracket to fold the uh, upper intake out so the wiring harness that clip into this bolt that hold the bracket to the cylinder head so remove that and with the 13 millimeters socket remove that bolt that hold that bracket and we can just put that bracket out of the way out of the intake manifold now we can lift the manifold so lift up in the end and just possibly it inward and uh, it's coming out very easy and remove the foam insulator and that's the lower intake manifold so now to take that lower intake manifold out we need to disconnect um, three coils harness and three injector uh, connector so on both sides front and rear so just on the injector you just need to push that locking tab the red locking tab out and now we can just push on that clip right 
there and it can unplug it very easily yeah so that tap when the tap all the way out it's easy to um, unplug it and on the ignition coils just just a little clip yeah and now when the wiring harness out from the injector and the coil so now we can lose all the bolt that hold the lower intake manifold And there's one wiring harness um, clip that hold into the lower manifold and when that one is out. So you can disconnect the fuel line out from the manifold but it's gonna be a lot of gas coming out from the fuel rail but so I just put it to the side like that but very careful not to too much twist or too much bend on the line so it can break the fuel line and uh, plug all the intake inlet so to prevent any debris or anything that falling into it so there it's right there and use a EH star socket to remove just five bolt that hold that um, oil cooler and a filter housing and uh, unplug the engine oil pressure switch and uh, coolant temperature sensors and there's one uh, coolant pipe like a heater pipe that connect into the cooler housing yeah so that spring clamp need to pull the whole assembly out for better to uh, unclick the clamp now when we pull it out you can see there's a lot of engine oil some it just came out when we pulled the, the housing out but some was slicking and it's been in there so after we clean all out make sure you use the air gun to blow all these bolt holes out so a lot of oil and coolant mix and it fill up in those um, little bolt holes and I put a little bit of thread locking onto the uh, five bolts right there and check all the o-ring make sure it's in place and it nicely tight in there and there's another o-ring right there for the oil drain from the oil filter housing and I replaced the spring clamp with the gear clamp and um, put that coolant hose in first before drop the assembly drop the housing down and tie it yeah just line up that uh, pipe that below the oil filter housing to the engine block and yeah, line up all the screw and uh, screw it in nicely by hand first and after that we snug it up and now torque it up to 120 inch pound so you can put 110 or 120 it's okay so I just uh, talk it up check it go over two times just make sure all this little bolt is tight and now tight that gear clamp that hold the coolant holes in and 
make sure all the that cool, coolant temperature sensor and oil pressure switch get plugged in properly because it's right underneath the manifold. And now pull all the paper towel out and check in there, make sure there's no nut or any bolt that fall into that and if some debris in there need to use a air gun to blow it all out. And that's a lower intake manifold um, o-ring. That's a new o-ring and on this side is for the upper manifold. Yeah, so now ready to put it down, clean that uh, surface very good, wipe it off, clean it. And now we can put the lower intake manifold down, line up all those bolts to the cylinder head and screw it in by hand first. all the bolts and after that we tighten it and torque it up to 110 or 120 inch pound so we'll start from uh, inside working out so I spray some silicone sprays to the coils um, connector and uh, injector so easy to plug it in now we plug the injector and uh, ignition coils connector in and um, plug all the harness clip down to the valve cover and now we put the upper manifold in and uh, torque it up to 89 inch pound because this upper manifold is not a bolt it's it kind of like a screw so we don't want to go too tight gonna strip the plastic thread now put the um, after we torque it down tight now put the nuts in the front and the nuts in the back the bracket in the back is back in place and plug back all the map sensor throttle body intake air temperature sensor and that um, pipe in the front of the throttle body been uh, put it in and uh, the long plastic clip is also in now we can put the upper rattle back in and air box and the vent valve from the intake manifold to the air filter housing and put the negative battery back and need to drain oil and change engine oil because when we pull the housing out the coolant been mixing with oil in the pan from uh, the, the cooler And after we um, change oil, put oil in the engine, now use this coolant refill to put the coolant in. Basically now just do a vacuum on the cooling system, suck all the air out and uh, some coolant still in the system, so it's coming out with the air. So we put the cooling system under vacuum.
so when the needle going down to green and you can see the upper rat hole is flat like a snake now because it's under vacuum yeah and the needle is steady so that means the, the cooling system not leaking anywhere and now we just turn and suck the <laughs> engine antifree into the cooling system almost done almost full now you can see upper rat hole expand to the normal side now so that means it's good and just need to top up a little bit more and it should be good there's no air in the cooling system probably just a little bit and uh, top up the overflow tank to the maximum and it should be good now just run the engine to check for heat inside the vehicle yeah so that's it uh, for this video thank you you guys so much for watching hope this one help and if you find this helpful please like the video and subscribe to my channel and I see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.